Okay, this video is going to be about what are known as Carnot maps. And the basic idea of Carnot maps is the following. So, you can, you can construct a truth table, and from that you can construct both a circuit and a Boolean expression. And I have videos on, on these things on how to create a circuit and Boolean expressions from truth tables. And we'll go through that a little quickly in this video, but I assume you're hopefully already familiar with it. So the basic idea is, you know, you've got a truth table, you know, maybe you want to cre create some circuit from that. Well, the idea is, again, you can translate that into a Boolean expression, and these Carnot maps can be used to simplify the resulting Boolean expressions, which in turn can then go back, you can go back and help uh, uh, simplify the circuits that you design. So this is, this is roughly the idea of these, these Carnot maps. And to me, in my head, again, I don't claim to be an expert on this stuff, but, but my understanding is, you know, truth tables and circuits and Boolean expressions are, are, are sort of all equivalent. It's kind of like, you know, converting from decimals to fractions. They can, they can convey the same information, uh, just in slightly different forms. So, okay, so let's start with a truth table. And from that, we're going to create a Boolean expression. And then we'll, we'll start talking about the, these Carnot maps and how they work. It's really quite interesting, I think, you know, uh, it's just something very simple the way it works, but it, it, it's kind of neat to me. Okay, so suppose we've got the following truth table. So if both x and y are 0, we want an output of 1. If x is 0, y is 1, we want an output of 0. If x is 1 and y is 0, we want an output of 1. And if x is 1 and y is 1, we want an output of 1. So from this, we can create a Boolean expression. And the way that you can think about, the way that we create a Boolean expression is basically find everywhere where there's an output of a 1. So let's look at the first, the first row here. And that's where both x and y are equal to 0. So you can think about x as having a value of 1, not x, or x prime has a value of 0. And the same way if we write y and y prime. OK. So the first one, it says, since x has a value of 0, a zero, we'll write that as not x. We can com combine it with an and symbol, the little, the little uh, uh, upwards pointy sign. We also have that y is 0, so we'll write not y, or y prime. That Boolean expression represents that, that first row, where x is 0 and y is 0. And it's understood that with this expression, you get an output of 1. OK, so we skip the second row because we have an output of, of 0. OK, so now let's go to the third row. We connect these, uh, uh, these expressions with, an, with a, um, an OR symbol. So the next one, since x is 1, we'll just write x. OK, so again, y is equal to 0, so we'll write a little y prime. And again, we move down one more. We again connect it with an AND symbol. And in this one, we have that x is 1, so we'll just use x. And y is also equal to 1. So again, reading this Boolean expression, that, that, if somebody had said, hey, you know, what does this Boolean expression represent? I could go back and, and give you this truth table. So that's what I said at the beginning. To me, they're, they're, they're in a sense all equivalent. OK, likewise, from, from here, we could, create, we could create a circuit. So... OK, so again, I don't think these, are, these symbols are universal. I messed them up. I didn't feel like remaking the diagram. The little triangle represents the NOT gate. The little rounded one represents the AND gate. And sort of the pointy one with a rounded edge represents the OR gate. I made a video on circuits before, and people were like, hey, those are not the right symbols. These are the ones my book uses, so use whatever makes you comfortable. But again, just to summarize, you know, if you look at this first, this first Boolean exp uh, expression, we have x prime and y prime. So to create that, okay, you know, look at the very sort of top branch here. x comes in, it hits the NOT gate, it becomes x prime. y comes in, hits the NOT gate, it becomes y prime. We combine those two inputs through the AND gate. That gives us x prime and y prime. And now you would do the same thing for the second expression. You would just have x. You need NOT y. We combine those into an AND statement. Well, to combine, to make the first two expressions here, we need to combine those with an OR statement. So again, those two expressions go through the OR gate. That gives us the, 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 this, the first two expressions. <coughs> Excuse me. The same thing, uh, we want X and Y. We combine the, the, the two expressions with the one expression through an OR gate. And that gives us our Boolean expression. 
So this would be the circuit, you know, one circuit that you could design that corresponds to the Boolean expression that we had previously. And again, this is just another way of summarizing that truth table. Okay, but this is something you might actually design in real life. So let's start talking about our friends, the Carnot map. Okay, so the way that we construct this Carnot map, let me find my truth table here again. I, I put it somewhere. There it is. Okay. So the idea is our Carnot map here. So this is going to be the case for two variables. Notice we have x and y. You can definitely make Carnot maps for more than two variables, and we can talk about that. So oftentimes, people will just put an x and a y here, and they'll just leave it like that. It's understood that if this is x, this is not x or x prime. And if this is y, this is not y or y prime. I'm probably going to fill them all in, but you may see it for sure with, with those omitted. So notice uh, when we had, you can think about, now let's think about what each square represents. The idea is that each square, you can connect those with, a, with an and. So this represents x and y. This would represent x and y prime. This would represent x prime and y. This would rep represent x prime and y prime. So what we can do now is we can, so let's make another little, okay, so we've got x, x prime, we've got y, and y prime. All we do is just go back and think where were the outputs equal to 1. So it, it, notice if it was x and y, so that corresponds, again, remember that, that, that it's understood that this represents x equals 1, x prime is 0, same thing, y equals 1, y prime equals 0. So really this first square says, what happens if x is equal to 1 and y is equal to 1? Well, if x is equal to 1 and y is equal to 1, if x is equal to 1 and y equals to 1, we said, oh, there's an output of a 1. So we'll put a 1 in that square. And these are what are known as min terms. Likewise, if x was equal to 1 but y is equal to 0, what happens? So let's see. If x is equal to 1 but y is equal to 0, again, we get an output of 1. Now, if x is equal to 0 and y is equal to 1, so let's see if we have a 0 and a 1, we actually get an output of 0. And if they were both equal to 0, we said, oh, we get an output of 1. This bottom one is the Carnot map. Okay? So again, it's just summarizing the information that was in the truth table. Okay, so likewise, again, I could decode this. You know, I could decode this Carnot map and again come back up with that, 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 that Boolean expression that we had at the very beginning. Where to go? So from this, from this Carnot map, I could produce this Boolean expression. Okay? So again, it's easy to interchange Boolean expressions to, to Carnot maps to, to truth tables. Okay, so let's keep going here. So the kind of the thing to notice, the thing to notice is if you look at, so I've got a bunch of extra maps here drawn. Notice we had ones, ones, a zero, and a one. That was our, our Carnot map we just uh, produced. It turns out that and this is the magic, so here we go, this is the important part, so here's the magic, or the, the main idea. It turns out that it, it, adjacent cell, cells can be simplified using rules of logic. So let's look at this very first, let's look at this very first row. Notice that corresponded, so we said this was x, y, and not y. So we would have x and y that would correspond to the 1 in the top left corner. Or it says we can write um, x and not y. That's what those first two ones represent. That's the Boolean expression I could create from that. But you can now actually simplify this. So we can actually simplify this using rules of logic. This is the same thing as x and y or y prime, but this is just uh, an identity. If it's y or y prime, that always gives you an output of 
1. And again, by the rules of logic, we can simply rewrite this as x. So it turns out that in this first row that corresponds to the Boolean expressions x and y or x and y prime, you can really just rewrite those two Boolean expressions as just x. So that's going to be the x row. Likewise, the Boolean expressions at the bottom, if you again apply these rules of logic, you could simplify the expression you would get from the bottom left corner and the expression you would get from the bottom right corner. Again, forget that there's a zero here for the moment. We can simplify that as x prime. Now, likewise, if you look at, okay, so we have x, y, y prime, x prime. So let's think about what these two Boolean expressions would be. So in the top left corner, again, we would have x and y. Or, so the, the bottom left corner would correspond to not x and y. It turns out that, again, you can simplify using some rules of logic, and you can just rewrite those two Boolean expressions as just y. So this corresponds, these two, if you have these two Boolean expressions uh, uh, appearing, you can just simply replace those two Boolean expressions with y. And likewise, on the right side, you could replace those two Boolean expressions with y prime. So again, try this and, and, and test it out. So what we do is to actually simplify, Okay, so we've got, we said our Carnot map had 1, 1, 0, 1. And again, we had that original Boolean expression where we made a, a circuit out of it. What you do is you circle adjacent ones. So I've got, I had a 1 and a 1 there, and I had a 1 and a 1 here. I'm going to circle those. Now again, I could write out the one, two, three Boolean exp uh, expressions that I had, right? We had one here, we had two here, we had three here. Every place you have a one, that's going to give you a Boolean expression. The idea is now, though, I can simplify these Boolean expressions by using the circles. So the, the, the horizontal circle, we said that just really simplifies to the Boolean expression. We said that was equal to x. The The... Uh, two ones that are circled vertically, we said that corresponds to the Boolean expression not y or y prime. And then what we do is we simply connect these with an or statement. That's the magic. So it, what it says is, it says we could take this original uh, Boolean expression that had, you know, three expressions connected. We can really just simplify that as x or not y, what we did with our Carnot map here. So this is the same thing as x or not y. And you can verify using a truth table that you're going to get the same outputs. So, you know, if I created a, a, a circuit using just this Boolean expression, you know, here's x coming in, we've got y coming in, we want that to hit a not gate. So that becomes not y. And now we just connect these with our or gate, so kind of roundy pointy. And now we've produced that desired expression, x or not y, and this would be the new circuit that you would design. So, you know, I think under any reasonable criteria, this new circuit looks much more simple than this circuit that we started with. So, I hope I did a decent idea explaining this. I'll definitely do some more examples. This is kind of an introduction. We can do some more examples with two variables if you want to see them. I can also show how you set up doing this with three variables. But again, basic idea. Everywhere there are ones in your Carnot map, you just circle those and you try to find simplified statements, which therefore simplifies your Boolean expression, which therefore simplifies your circuit.